Welcome to Get a Job, Tips and Secrets for the Academic Job Market. I am Lee Hall, an Associate Professor of Literacy Studies at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill. You can find me online at leahall.wordpress.com to read more about how I approach teaching in higher education. Feel free to email me, particularly if you have questions about how to get a job in academia at leahall39 at gmail.com. All right, so today's question, what are the key elements to include in a cover letter? When you are applying for a job, you've got to include a cover letter. What do you put in it? All right, here are key elements in no particular order. So first of all, you want to align with the job description as much as possible. You want to show the committee that you are you're qualified for the job and that you're the person that they want. Um, we will get anywhere from 75 to 100 applicants for a position and we have to figure out how we're going to start cutting some of that down because we can't interview 75 to 100 people. So one of the ways to do that first is to look through cover letters and vitas and see, do you match the job description? I mean, are you even qualified for it? So you want to align with that as much as possible. Say a little bit about your dissertation. I would say keep it to a paragraph, maybe two at the most if you're applying to a research institution. Um, if you are, if you've not defended yet, tell us what your timeline is. If you have a defense date or you know that you're going to be defending in March or you know you're going to be graduating in May, whatever it is that you can tell us, tell us that if you are a doctoral student because that helps us feel confident that you're going to be able to show up and do the job should we hire you, all right? And we don't, we might not want to hire you if you are not going to be completing your dissertation because that is a lot of pressure and a lot of stress and a lot of work on you and it doesn't really put you in a good position to set you up well for a tenure. All right, talk about your research agenda if it's appropriate to the job that you are applying for. Again, keep it at one, maybe two paragraphs at the most and identify classes you are capable of teaching. But again, think about the job description. So if you are a, applying for a job to teach children's literature, then talk about classes that you are capable of teaching that align with ch you know, children's literature. Um, take a look at what courses the um, university offers that you are applying to. It's not that you're gonna be teaching those courses, but you might teach some of those courses, right? So look at the courses that seem like they align with your job and identify them. You don't have to stick to just those courses. You can also highlight a couple of additional courses that show your breadth, right? That you are capable of doing maybe a little bit more than what we might realize, but you definitely want to show us or tell, the, tell us what it is that you can teach that aligns with the job description. Keep this to about two pages, one and a half to two pages does not need to be more than two pages. If you're going over two pages, you're saying too much. If you are applying at the assistant professor level, once you've been in the game for a while, I think you can bump it up to three pages or so, but at an assistant professor level, if you're a doctoral student, keep your cover letter about one and a half, two pages.